Hello Box fans, Rick Tyler here in the demo room of Box. Uh, I'm going to be covering the umbrella again. I did cover it last week, uh, but since then, me and Spud, the warehouse manager, were fishing on a match at the weekend in Force Nine Gales. Luckily there were no trees, because it would have been quite uh, scary and we would probably have to cancel the match on safety grounds. But um, what I'm going to show you today is an even better way of setting the uh, umbrella up, which really was created by uh, Spud. He came up with the idea. Uh, on those conditions because the wind was blowing from behind and it just made it a lot easier. Uh, for the demonstration today I'm actually using the XL bait weighter. I've took the lid off just to make it easy for you to see uh, and the XL bait weighter has an adapter on the back that I fit as a post. If you've not got the XL bait weighter or you're not on an box, basically to, to achieve the same you're going to have to use um, an adapter bar. Now the box adapter bar is uh, aluminium welded uh, so rock solid, but you, you probably get away with a, um, just a simple uh, ordinary one because there's not going to be too much pressure on, on it. Uh, the idea is you're fitting the post in here to have one brace coming in at one angle to the umbrella with the other brace coming in at the other. And you've got to imagine we're, we're setting this up for extreme fishing. Me and Spud were the only anglers on that match that could get away with an umbrella. Every other angler just had to take the full force of the wind because anything they tried to put up would have just been destroyed. And even with a much reduced size of this umbrella, i.e. 27 inch river as opposed to 50, the pressure that you're going to be putting on the post of the umbrella, even though the umbrella on this is a thicker post, thicker walled, you still got to imagine the power of the wind. So what I'll do now is I'll set it up to show you, I'll have to lower this up because of the ceiling height, so we'll get it through to start with, lock it in place, you can see now by doing this I'm bracing the umbrella much higher, if I had the brace much further down then all of this is leverage to snap the post, but you can see there um, by move, this setup is effectively moved the umbrella back about 14 uh, centimetres and it's moved it across about eight and it just gets it out of the way even more. I've got a perfect slot there for the umbrella if I want my landing net handle to go through there or it even works if I've got my landing net going on, on, on the side. It, my side table is completely free, there's nothing in the way I've got a post here and as you can see there and if I want to fix it uh, to the to the ground of course what I can do as well is uh, I'm fixing I fix mine to the back shelf this is an idea from Spud but if you're on a conventional seat box and you didn't have that as a capability of course that could go straight into the deck behind you uh, and it's not going to get in the way now as you can see it's not getting in the way but if I wanted to set it up in a tilt mode I can do. If you see, I'm not even have to get it off the box. Yeah, I'm going to set that down now in tilt mode. And one of the advantages of obviously having an off box, things like the roost and that are uh, fixed. So I can sit there now. It's not getting in my way. I can cast from the from the right, from the left, I can still get to my top kits, everything is clear. Normally this would be also be set up with the side table lid and if it's raining I can obviously tuck the underneath as well. So that's it when the wind's coming from that and if I want to we could even change the angle again. So you've got lots of options but the important thing is it's strong enough in this setup to take that sort of wind um, and that's got to be an advantage so I mean some of the poor guys on my right they were getting battered with the weather and although clothing is very good uh, sometimes if the wind's uh, coming from the wrong direction and you're wearing glasses it can be a major disadvantage. Uh, one final point that I will make that I did notice once you've got all of your top kits on one side so we'll rotate this round again so you can imagine if I've got top fours top fives on this side I've got my baits on this side 
you don't normally need a support leg on a horse, but in windy conditions, when you've got an umbrella on, you need to fit one. And the reason for that is you've got all the weight on one side, which means it's sort of top heavy towards the left. So it only needs a small gust of wind to tip that box over. Putting the support leg in like that solves that problem. And it also gives us a capability to fit uh, a product I'm going to show you in our next video called the Top Kit Brace, which fixes the top kit in place so it can't move. And we'll cover that in a, in a separate video. But I think that's the umbrella covered um, to, you know, so you can still use the umbrella setup we showed on the video uh, last week. But here's another option for you to consider, uh, which we personally think is a better option. Till the next video, tight lines.